here, which you call war, I will call predatory. We need the predator because the world is set up in prey and prey. That's, that's a fact. I say that one has to identify the predator and make sure that we are protecting ourselves and our children and our myths are teaching us to protect ourselves from the predator. But our myths, as per the Christian myths, are not teaching us anything other than to be um, uh, as exactly as they're supposed to be. The Moahite laws are meant to make us servile to Judaism. Well, why do um, we worship alien gods? Why do we worship gods who hate us? Why do we worship gods at all? Why do, I mean, to me, we are whirling in space for some inexplicable reason, and the pleasure and the gift, whatever, whomever, whatever, gave us, is the idea that we wish to conjecture why, and that's the fun and the pleasure. The moment we become, we uh, take seriously and allow a God idea to get in between us, because after all, all we have is the humanity between us. If we allow that to be intruded upon, we're lost. So we can conjecture and have artistic ideas and uh, imaginative ideas and creative ideas for sure. But the moment we allow God, especially a God Father, like Daddy, who's going to come and beat you up if, he, if you don't believe what we want you to believe, is just crazy. I mean, that really is infantile, but worse, because it makes a predator of our own kind. What craziness is that? We don't need more predators. We have a predator. We have an, uh, we have a, uh, uh, an eternal predator because that predator has so many centuries ago announced itself as an anti-Gentile. Now, I say we don't get rid of predators. We learn from predators. We teach our children how to recognize them, to make sure they hold the mirror up. To me, a predator holds the mirror up to us and shows us what we don't want to be or what that we don't want to be sullied or bullied by. So, to me, you don't get rid of the predator. That's why it's pointless to describe me as an anti-Semite. For one thing, I happen to, to think that the Semites, as per the Palestinians, are the the most noble people on the planet at the moment because they have stood up for more than a thousand, more than a hundred years, more than a hundred years, as opposed to the Third Reich for 12 years, nothing. The Palestinians have stood up for a hundred years against uh, their predator and they have risked starvation sooner than collude with a lie that the Zionist entity or New World Zionism New World Order has any decency in it for anyone. It's misanthropic because it is based on the biblical concept, which is a biblical, very ugly role model of a father. And I don't mean the Esau idea, I mean Yahweh, the God, the God of the Jews that Christianity has endorsed. And I hold Saul, St. Paul, absolutely responsible for the Trojan that has entered into our psyche as a consequence of Christianity because it does not serve us. Those myths do not teach our people how to look after ourselves against the predator. And it has come full circle now. We need our own terms of reference, our own ways of teaching our people how to protect themselves from the predator. We have Aesop's stories, we have the Greek myths, we have the basis of our culture is Hellenism. And we have from Hellenism the four virtues, the four inseparable virtues. And if we had that, what else would we need? What are they? The four virtues are temperance. Temperance represented measure, balance, moderation, moderation, balance, so measure. Sophrosyne. You know, Sophia portion. is the goddess of witness. Uh, Sophia is the goddess of wisdom, wisdom but her handmaid is Sophrosyne, the goddess of moderation. Well, it's balance, it's proportion, a sense of proportion, right. literally, figurative, and so on. Then, of course, you have um, uh, justice, but justice must be tempered with scientific attitude, i.e. wisdom based on scientific attitude, not based on faith. This is where Christianity has taken us into a realm where we must believe in, in a, a Jewish God that it's not in our interest. What's the fourth virtue? And, and the, the, no, the, 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 the fourth, of course, is courage. And they're inseparable. You must not... You see, now in our courtrooms, that's why I make my films, 
film that I'm making now is called Jailing the Lawyers because we are now in the stage where scientific attitude and justice are separating. So that, that Sylvia Stoltz and other attorneys cannot bring into the courtroom evidential uh, exhibits as in any other courtroom, but not about it, understanding and, and looking into the source skepticism, the source criticism, which applies in any other